My name is Angeli Rodriguez. I was born in Dominican Republic on October 24, 1985. My language is Spanish. At the beginning of my life, I grew up in another city where I met the father of my first daughter. When I was 18, I studied university. I chose to be a teacher. Then I have my second child, who was born in 2012. Four years ago, I moved to the United States, where I began working in a warehouse. I am actually married. <clears throat> I have three children, and my dream is to have my own house next year. Hi, my name is Ivel Cairaldo. I am 27 years old. I am from the Dominican Republic. I speak Spanish and a little bit of English. I came to the United States in December 2011. At the time, I had just married and my husband lived here. I was excited because I had more opportunities to grow than in my country. I was going to be able to experience new things but at the same time, I was sad that my family was back home. My goals for the future are to continue to learn to help my daughters and to have better opportunities so I can fight for what I want. Hello, my name is Katiuska. I was born in the Dominican Republic 30 years ago. I studied in a school for care. After finished the school, I graduated in business administration at the university. I got married at 19 years old. My first child was born, was born in 2014. His name is Camille. In 2018, my husband and I decided to come to live in the United States to give a better life to our son. It was a difficult process to adapt to this country, but in this moment, we are getting used to our new life here. Now, I don't have a job because I have to study with my son in his virtual class, but maybe when the coronavirus finishes, I come back to work. I hope that when we are more organized, we will have another baby, maybe the next year. Thank you so much. My name is Maria. My nearest language is Spanish. I was born on October 15, 1969, in Miches, Dominican Republic. My father was my name, and my mother is a housewife. I am the oldest of my nine siblings. I got married the fourth year old. I had three beautiful children. Since I was a kid, I had always liked learning in things in studies. When I finished high school, I studied accounting, but the human sign in my life was the British medicine. Fascinated me in deciding to become. I learned in 2005, I hold the medical field for more than 25 years. I emigrated to the U.S. in 2019 to stay with my family in the future. I see myself speaking fluent English. Hello. Today is September 9th of 2020. My name is Marcia. My friend is Ecuador. I speak Spanish. I came to this country 13 years ago. Why I came to this country? Because my country is a little complicated and I feel good 
my kids born here on this country. So I have to help them with their futures. Right now, I'm so happy because I'm learning English. So I know I'm going to find a new and better, better job. And my life is going to do more easy. Thank you so much, Miss Jennifer, for helping me a lot. God bless you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ana Martinez. I am from Guatemala. My first language is Spanish. I come here to the United States in February of the year 2004. To have a better future, the first year was a very difficult because I miss my parents and my brothers. But as time went by, I adapted to this a beautiful country. Now I thank God for having given me the opportunity to be here. One of my goals for the future is to be able to speak and write English perfectly because I will open many doors to the future, but to continue studying or to have a better job. So God bless America. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Esvin. I am from Guatemala. Uh, I came in for US 10 years ago. Uh, my first years in this country, I know feeling good. But later, I make a good friends. Now, I have one good family here, one good work. I studied English in the Mercer College, the Trenton, New Jersey. I like this, um, but it's very difficult for me because I need to work hard for my family. Sometimes I am very tired, but I'm now I like it, this country. I like it for everything, these things. This country give has give for me. Hello, everybody. My name is Jacqueline. Now I'm talking about my short bio. I used to live in Guatemala, but when I was 16 years old, I came to United States. Now I work in the day shift. Also, I'm studying ESL. In the future, I want to speak my English very well. Also, other, others of my dream is I'll be translate English to Spanish. Have a, have a great time, guys. Take it easy. My name is Sandra Sarceno. I'm from Guatemala. I speak Spanish. I come into the United States on July 15, 2002. I feel sad because I miss my family and was nervous. I come into the United States to get more opportunity and to help my family. My goal in the fusion is to learn more English. Thank you. Hello, everybody. My name is Johanna Lara. I am 32 years old. I'm born in Guatemala, a little town called Puerto Vargas, Isabel. I speak Spanish. I'm country USA at the age of 18. When I'm arrived, it was difficult for me. Everything was so different, but my parents is brought me with a post uh, build a better future for me. The United States have opportunities that is not having Guatemala. 
and I decided to study English to be able to fulfill my goals. One of one of them is to be able to have my own business, and for that I need to speak and write in English perfectly. And also, English is as necessary language in this country. We need it for everything: to go to the doctor, for purchase to community better with all my children, etc. Good afternoon. Today, September fifth, two thousand twenty. My name is Judy. I am from Guatemala. I'm a speak Spanish. I used to live in Guatemala. I moved to the United States several years ago. My first year wasn't easy because there were so many new things to learn. I came to the United States because it is a very beautiful place. I feel happy in this city. I like it. Now I'm learning English in Mercer Community College. I would like to study medical assistant, pharmacy assistant. I enjoy and love learning new things every day. Thank you. Hello, my name is Karen. I'm original from Honduras. This is located in America Central. I live in Trenton, New Jersey. I am 16 years old in this country with the United States of America. I am here because it is a country of opportunity, because I was able to help my family financially for many years. For my future, I have to return for my country and to be able to enjoy my days with part of my family because others are gone. But I thank God for having a beautiful family. Thank you, Heavenly Father and United States of America. Hello, everyone. My name is Edna Pineda. Today, I want to talk to you about my life. I'm from Honduras. I was born in a small town in my country. I'm married and I have two children, a boy and a girl. And now I have three grandchildren. I came to United States seven years ago. When I arrived in this country, my sister Karin helped me a lot. I love my sister Karin. I feel good to be in this country. I still have many things to do. The future is a secret for me. I only hope I'm healthy to meet my goals. Thanks for watching my video. Have a nice day. Hi, my name is Erika Pineda. I am from Honduras. I live in Trenton, New Jersey. I speak the Spanish language. I have three boys. I arrived in this country in June 2019. Uh, looking for a better present and future. When I arrived, my sister Edna and my sister Karin. My sisters is very good. I love you, my sisters. Um, in my future, I have planned to return to my country, Honduras, if God I love me. Thank you. Uh, I'm Lumia Mohammed. Uh, I used to live in Sudan. I came to United States in 2011. I live with my family. And uh, now I study ESL classes. I hope uh, to go to college and study pharmacy technician. Hello, my name is Victor Romero. I was born in Venezuela. And I was living there, but right now I live in USA. I speak Spanish, a little Portuguese, and Italian. And actually, I study English. I used to move 
uh, to USA in 2018 for political political reason in my country. Uh, it's not easy when you arrive uh, to a new country. You must adapt to new culture, people, foods, uh, jobs, language, and more. This is this was a difficult decision for me. Uh, because my family uh, was, my family were in Venezuela. My father uh, there uh, were, uh, my, fa my father, uh, they are in Chile. Uh, it's not easy, but I hope to meet my goals uh, very soon and I continue my life here.